All right, let's talk about the Amblyopsidae. These are the cave fish. We just recently talked about the pirate perch, which are a close relative of the cave fish. Um, obviously, these are interesting fish. You're going to find them in caves and in unique environments. Um, there's only two species here in Kentucky. Um, we can notice these because they're going to be like a pirate perch. They've got the anus up by the throat, which is pretty unique. Uh, whereas the pirate perch, we thought they might be mouth brooders, but turns out they're probably not. These are definitely mouth brooders. So there, there's your advantage of having the anus up by the mouth is because then you can get the eggs into the gill chamber, into the mouth where they can be developed. So one of the species we have is the northern cave fish. And this is a, you know, true cave fish, you know, 100%. It uh, lives in caves no light so it's blind the eyes just don't develop there's no pigment in the skin because what's the point but their other senses are well developed so their lateral line is uh, much more developed um, I don't know if they do electrical sensing or not their all sense of olfaction is is more acute so their other senses are more developed one of the interesting things about these cave fish is they don't have pelvic fins. So that could be another key. Um, I mean, if you've got a fish with no pigment and no eyes, you pretty much know it's going to be a northern cave fish. But if it doesn't have a pelvic fin, that's also um, a characteristic. What's interesting is there's a population of sculpins, so it's a different family, that lives in a cave in southeast Missouri, not too far from here. A friend of mine studied them for a dissertation. And um, We'll talk about this story later about how this species is in the process of evolving for the to be adapted to the cave environment and one of the things that's changing in this population of sculpins through the generations that have lived in the cave is they have fewer rays in their pelvic fin so they seem to be losing their pelvic fin uh pelvic fins just like the northern cave fish does not have any pelvic fins and um that's interesting you know that that these what what how come you know that's a convergent evolution how come fish that live in caves tend to lose their pelvic fins probably they just because they don't need them um, because they don't really have a lot of predators they don't need to maneuver a lot so they're just sort of atrophying and there's no advantage to having them and so they're slowly just disappearing that's one potential hypothesis all right, uh, the other cave fish we have is the spring cave fish. This is not something that lives in the dark. It lives, like the name says, more in springs. Um, it's got more some pigment. It's got eyes that function. So it's not 100% um, the uh, uh, restricted to caves. And here's your northern cave fish with no pigment, no eyes, and your spring cave fish. <clears throat> you can see the anal fin, you can see the pectoral fins, no pelvic fins. So, very cool little fish. Never caught any myself, but I know some places where we're likely to find them, so we're going to go looking for them. Okay, cave fish. Thanks. <laughs>